Now moving on here, next question, we have question 15. The total cost accumulated in the sales department using the reciprocal method is calculated to be. Over here, what well, we have the reciprocal method. So we have here, now we are going over the sales department. So the sales department starts with 48,000. So 48,000 we start with. So it's 48,000. Now, how much are we going to get an allocation from using the other numbers, S1 and S2? So for sales from S1, Actuarial, we get 15%. And from S2 premium, we get 50. So it's 15 and 50. So it's 15 of actuarial, and it's 50% of the premium. So I get 117,909. So the answer here is going to be B. I believe let's see the answer is going to be B yes 117909 but the idea is I want to go over one more time now in the reciprocal method as opposed to the direct method notice that the costs we allocated here PR premium and actuarial have higher costs than before why well because their original cost plus what was allocated to them from the other service department. So in other words, PR and AC now, they actually include the cost that came into them from each other. So there's a more complete picture. Since that's a more of a complete picture, when I go and look at sales now, I'm going to say, hey, listen, sales... Sales is only using 15% of S1, right? Because S1, actuarial, I already allocated most of actuarial to the premium department, right? So that's already, the cost is already there. Now, as far as actuarial itself, sales is only using 15%. Now, with premium, it looks like sales is using 50%. That's fine, but think about it. That premium has already been allocated out. So if 70% of actuarial ended up in premium, now I'm going to allocate 50% of the premium over to sales. So it's going to flow through in a different way, but we can use actual numbers. So that's why I'm using 15% here for the, for the um, actuarial, and I'm using 50% for the premium. I'm using actual numbers because all the other costs were already allocated. And that's the difference between the reciprocal method and, and the direct method.